from exactly is a mystery still lost in time. They were known for practicing an ancient healing science founded in the use of powerful natural medicines derived from sacred plants. Venturing from island to island across the perilous seas over a course of centuries, stewards of the ancient gifts, they carried forth their treasures, planting and nourishing these wonders of nature, which would bless their lives and the lives of generations to come. Fenua, the Fenua. Terai, e terai. Ei te atuai. A mai te mai te e hotu. Most prized and revered among the sacred plants received from the ancients was a peculiar fruit-bearing tree referred to as noni. Not a simple food staple as were many of the plants born here by the early settlers, the precious noni was rather the quintessential secret to health and healing. Honored traditions stemming from before recorded time held that noni could relieve suffering and restore a man from weakness and pain. But this gift of the ancients was more than a curative to be used in times of distress. Noni, it was also held, could increase any man's longevity through inciting vitality and by reconciling his body to a state of perfect health. Indeed, the lives and culture of the early Polynesian people were profoundly blessed by the mystical Noni. Their destinies were intricately intertwined. Together, they had been swept away to this remote island paradise from which all Polynesia would spring. Here, nurtured by pristine bounty, they had thrived. And yet, to the rest of the world, these people and their sacred Noni were otherwise forgotten or unknown. But such would not last forever. Centuries later, Ralph M. Heineke would receive his doctorate in biochemistry from the University of Minnesota. Upon this accomplishment, his first desire was to escape the cold Minnesota winters, and so he took a job with the Dole Pineapple Company in Hawaii. My assignment was to find application for the enzyme which I had to uh, develop a method for producing from the pineapple stem. Here was this tropical island with many plants which I had never seen before, and among them was a strange green fruit called noni. And the Hawaiian people told me that was a very important medicine. Based on the findings of his research, Dr. Heineke would publish key articles in several scientific journals. Within only a few years, these articles would spark the interest of a man being led on his own journey of discovery. Through the initial discoveries of this fruit, I realized the great potential. And it was when I came across a paper by Dr. Ralph Heineke. He described in this paper the mechanism of how and why it works. Everywhere I went on the island of Tahiti, the most interesting things happened. The native Tahitians began telling me stories of the nono fruit, how it helped their grandmother or their grandfather, their aunt, their uncle. I learned that there was a super abundant supply of the nono fruit on the islands of Marquesas, nearly a thousand miles away. It was a stunning sight. The valley was just full of this fruit. Immediately, I knew that we had all the fruit we needed. It wasn't a secret, but yet the world didn't know about it. The next thing was to find the right partners. I knew if we could find the right partners, nothing could stop us. Soon after rediscovering the secret of the Noni, John Wadsworth was joined by Stephen Storey, Kerry Acey, Kim Acey, and Kelly Olson. The gift of Noni had been handed to a new generation and to a new set of stewards. From across the wide Pacific and into the rocky mountains of Utah, what would become of this precious gift? What would these new stewards, a company called Tahitian Noni International, do with this awesome responsibility? We are heirs. We have become part of this story. And I have to tell you, we can't think of the history of Noni without feeling emotionally tied to every single person and event that has taken place, you know, since 
you know, four or 5,000 years ago when it first became noticed by man. Tahitian noni juice, along with other products derived from the noni tree, is now distributed in over 60 countries and represented by distributors from more than 72 nations. Tahitian noni juice has become one of the top brands of health products in the world, dominating the industry with 90% of the noni market. In fact, on average worldwide, it takes less than two seconds for the next bottle of Tahitian noni juice to be sold. Indeed, it is enjoyed by millions. To be sure, a promised day will come, not so long from now, when Tahitian noni juice has been received by all the world. A day when this singular fruit from this exotic corner of the earth is planted in the hearts and minds of people everywhere. For Tahitian noni juice, a day of fulfilled destiny.